Many people find it difficult to accept the existence of extraterrestrials. Those who believe these claims are labeled as conspiracy theorists. But what if the indicators are right in front of us? We just keep denying them. The Guardian newspaper reported on December the 18th that a mysterious signal was being emitted from a neighboring star, Proxima Centauri. The star is too faint to view with the naked eye from Earth, but it is just 4.2 light years away. What may this signal mean, and what does the resulting data tell us? Proxima Centauri is being trapped using Australia's Parkes Observatory. The crew had been searching for extraterrestrial broadcasts from the nearest million stars for 10 years when they detected the strange signal, which they called BLCN1. To detect radio waves, observations were made between April and May of 2019. It's very normal to see strange things every now and then. But BLCN1 is noteworthy. Although some believe the signal is of human origin, the observation team is working on two publications detailing the signal as well as an incomplete follow-up inquiry. Researchers are still analyzing the signal and what it may represent. According to Andrew Simeon, the lead investigator, there is a lot of discourse about sensationalism in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. For the last six decades, scientists have scoured outer space for radio signals that mimic the broadcasts people used to make. These signals, however, would only work within a very restricted spectrum of radio frequencies, indicating that the radio source is originating from a distant cosmic object, such as a planet circling a star. Only human technology appears to create signals like our Wi-Fi cell towers. Everything else looks like the signals we're looking for in outer space, making it difficult to discern if anything is from space or created by humans. Over the years, astronomers have discovered a plethora of potential signals. Some came from previously unknown astronomical sources, such as pulsars, which are rapidly revolving dead stars that emit radio waves into space. Initially, it was believed that the earliest documented fast radio bursts, which are quick radio wave bursts that remain somewhat unexplained, were man-made signals. The less intense radio emission bursts initially perplexed researchers until they discovered a microwave oven as their source. BLCN1 could be coming from anything that isn't transmitting properly, such as an unidentified spacecraft or aircraft flying overhead, a transmitter on Earth near the telescope's line of sight, or even something more mundane. According to Simeon, all of the SETI tests take place amid an utter sea of interference. It all boils down to being able to distinguish between a far away technological signature and our technology. For example, in 1977, the Ohio State University Radio Observatory, often known as Big Ear, caught the well-known WOW signal. This incredibly bright bombardment of radio waves looked to be a brilliant SETI find at first, but no one has been able to confirm or locate it again. A 10-year search called Breakthrough was launched in 2015 with backing from Silicon Valley billionaire Yuri Milner, but the team has yet to find anything substantial in their scans of the skies. In April 2019, Breakthrough began directing its attention to the Parkes telescope. This was done not necessarily to hunt for extraterrestrial life, but to understand more about the massive flares that tiny red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri emit on a regular basis. This summer, Shane Smith, a student at Hillsdale College in Michigan who works with Breakthrough, was examining the data when he detected BLCN1 radiating from the star. It passed all of the tests performed by the Breakthrough team to filter out the millions of signals emitted by people. Despite its obscurity, the signal had a tiny bandwidth, seemed to change in frequency, and vanished when the telescope was focused on something other than Proxima Centauri. Four such signals came over the next few days, some of which were ruled out as radio interference. According to Seth Shawstack of the SETI Institute, if the signal is a postcard from the star system next door, then the Milky Way must be teeming with communicative civilizations. Our galaxy would have more than half a billion cultures in this scenario, which seems like a lot. The team has re-examined Proxima Centauri since its discovery, but has found nothing new.
Researchers are planning additional tests to pinpoint the source of the signal, in addition to keeping the Parkes telescope aimed at Proxima Centauri. After all, in order to make any scientific claims, they must first witness and duplicate the phenomena. Jill Tata of the SETI Institute said that inventing new tests and methodically seeking to pinpoint the source of a signal is a natural component of the SETI mission that everyone can learn and benefit from. Tata stated that we are searching for something else out there, for someone else to find interference and believe that may be what we're looking for, and then figure out what we need to do to be able to discriminate and have confidence in any result that we would obtain. That is an excellent lesson. Follow-up studies of Proxima Centauri will be possible in order to better understand how such stars behave and to conduct a complete and steady search for a neighboring star system with known planets. Even if it is not populated by highly advanced aliens, this may still be the method that alien life uses to contact us, even if this one is another false alarm in our wide galaxy. But what do you think? Please tell us in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video then please do give us a like, subscribe and click the notification icon to keep up to date on all the latest activity on the channel. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.